Hello everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War. Uh, it seems that we were about to attempt to lift the siege on Prague. Um, yeah, I think we can do this fairly easily. The uh, I think the I'm, I think I noted on the last episode that the big problem is the fact that they have a lot of a fairly high proportion of cavalry and artillery, uh, which is contributing to that whole uh, balance of power metric, but. I think uh, the actual situation is uh, fairly, fairly well in our favor. All right, and we're just slowly encroaching on the enemy flank. We've got to watch out for that cavalry. Uh, let's do that. We've also got to watch out for this mine if we advance in the other direction. Uh, on their left flank. But so far that doesn't seem to be a huge issue. They seem rather content to just sort of hang back. I think they're aware that they are actually at a disadvantage. Alright, cool. There, I thought that was like a general staff unit, but no, apparently that's just a heavily damaged normal cavalry unit. And, oh, we also forced one of their artillery units to retreat, which is great. E Gotta be a little careful of their cavalry. working out well so far. Let's um let's actually back up a little bit higher up the hill so that it's that much harder for their artillery to shoot us. Attack is still holding. Just slowly advancing up the lines. Let's see if we can start to squeeze them from the other direction too. Oh goodness, uh, we've taken a bit more of a brutalization over on this side than I expected. Uh, see if you guys can circle a little wide. Let's, um, let's get another unit in to help them out. These guys have taken a little bit of a beating, but that's alright, because we're still just slowly moving up on their flanks. Uh-oh. See if we can scooch a few more forces up there. But they are running out of cavalry now, so that's uh, something. Great. Uh, their cavalry is broken, and I think that was their last unit of proper cavalry aside from their general. 
uh, position these guys just a little bit more around that mine. Oh, what are they? Are they withdrawing? Shoot the general. Yeah, they seem to be withdrawing. Great. Let's uh, let's try to intercept them. Okay, well, their infantry has gotten away, but their artillery will not. And hopefully their general will not either. Yeah, he's taking too much damage now. Even if we don't actually kill the man himself. I think he's the last one, yeah. Goodbye! Yeah, he's the last one, but um, it's just not enough. It's going to count him as, as having been killed. So, great. Well, that probably could have gone a little bit better, but hey, we broke it. We broke the siege. Alright. Cool. We've taken Silesia. And now... I wonder... No, I don't I don't like the look of that. Let's just hold uh, hold this side for now. So what, what do we need? We need two more units. Uh, in this army and two more in this army. So. Cool. Prussia. Give in now, please. Hmm. That's not good. Um, then let's abandon Silesia. Because I don't know that we can hold on to that. There's a lot of a lot of Prussians around there. Um, this army's in rougher shape, so I'm actually going to have them fall back into Austria. We'll have them push up, uh, and then we'll have this army in Prague. Uh, so let me. Let me get some units moving off into that direction. I want to get like four four units of militia over there, and we'll start merging them together. Try to anyway. Okay. Let's see, we are still at war with Russia. Um, I kind of want another army in Russia. But we will, can we, can we make another general? I'm not sure. Not currently, but that's leveled up to max five more turns until Milan can. And we will... Uh, 
Okay. Let's actually fall back for now. And maybe we can make peace with France and make them go away. Yay! Excellent. Uh, okay. So then that means that... Hmm, there's there's a lot of a lot of people in southern France. There's a lot of French or Spanish armies in southern France. So I kinda don't want to tackle that if we don't have to. Do we have any spies that are loafing about not doing much? I don't think so. Let me check real quick. I think Strasbourg. We can take the guy in Strasbourg. Right, because we, we have vision through our allies uh, of everything I really care about uh, in this area. So I'm not too worried about that for the time being. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's call that a turn. Oof. That sucks. That also sucks. Wow. What a bunch of jerks. Moravia's on strike. Why Why are you on strike? Okay. Well, then you're going to go here. In fact, you are going to go and help the Siege of Prague. Uh, and then... You guys are going to go over here. And then you guys make another opera house. That guy's path was blocked because um, of the siege. How are you doing? Not, not great. Um, okay. Can you make it? over here and then I'm gonna do some merging real quick so I'll be right back okay uh, so now we're going to do that oops no, I did that wrong there we go so now this army is more or less at full strength. This army is at full strength. And then we've got a bit of a reserve core going on there. Um, Austria, they went over to Moravia. I don't know where that Russian army went, but they seem to have left the area around um, Belgorod, which is good. Let's just advance cautiously, keep our, our armies together. Okay. I think they've... Oh! Okay. Uh, can you make it to the north side of the city? Please do. And then you lay siege. Uh, so if this Russian army tries to uh, break the siege, then we have more than enough forces in the area. This army might try to attack Kiev from the north, but we have control of the bridge. Uh, let's build up some of the infrastructure in our newly acquired territories. What is that? That's uh, that is an opera house. Okay, good. Okay, and now let's go ahead and uh, reclaim our territory in Torino, in Piedmont Liguria. In fact, you go and crush that Spanish army. That's what I thought. Just, just destroy them. Eh. 
probably could have handled that better personally, but I think that went fairly well overall. Uh, you keep headed this way. Okay. We kind of need our military infrastructure upgraded. So we'll, we'll build that up with what money we have. Okay. Hmm. No. We're good. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe Prussia will make a very silly decision. No. Okay. Well, uh, then I'm not going to invest too much in Silesia in case they take it back or in case it, it goes up in arms. So, yeah, we'll leave that alone. Ooh, that's a lot of cavalry. Can we... Yes, we have fortifications. Great. Uh, I think given the sheer amount of cavalry... We ought to just not even worry about trenches and just make Chavot de Freeze. Because uh, that's going to be our biggest problem, is cavalry. They seem to be focusing pretty hard on my, uh, my right. So let's return the favor and move up a little bit on their left. And then we'll bring our first line... So it's definitely behind the Chevaux de Frise. Uh, and then bring our reserves to match it. They seem to have a number of their cavalry units just behind. Uh, like behind their artillery. Which is kind of a problem, actually. I don't know that I can break that. They do have to break us, but their artillery bombardment is going to be annoying. We need our strong units up to counter their infantry. Because our, our lines have already kind of taken some damage. Oh, crap! Ugh. Okay, yeah, I really should have pulled those guys back. In fact, it's not too late. Yeah! Alright, well done. Yay, excellent. Okay, yeah. Uh, you guys hurry up and get behind the, uh, the defenses. Okay, and then you guys kind of start to flank them. All right. Let's um, let's get some more more of our reserves up and ready to deploy if we need them, because we have already taken substantial damage. Oh no, that is uh. Armed citizenry. I do not want that. Armed citizenry is more like... Armed citizenry is kind of bad. And that's okay. They're not supposed to be good. They're supposed to be a last-ditch effort, but... Uh, yeah. Yikes. I don't know. Um, maybe we can poke that cavalry a little bit? Uh, oh, you guys need to fall back, please. Run. If 
fact, see if you can like trick them into trying to attack our quote-unquote flank, which is actually going to be on the Chevaux de Freeze. Ooh. Yes. Excellent. Okay, uh, that, however, is less excellent. They're trying to hit our center pretty hard. You keep trying to poke their, their cavalry a little bit. Cavalry is just continually running straight over the anti-cavalry defenses, which is perfect. That is just fine by me. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank goodness. That is exactly what we needed. It's for them to be a little too bold with their cavalry. Our men are running, sir. Oh no! Oh, I guess we kind of expected that. I wonder if we can, like, herd their general over the Chevaux de Frise. A little bit. Okay. Cool. So their cavalry is pretty pretty decimated now. Ah crap. It's my armed citizens, too. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Okay. Uh, maybe we can draw them back a little bit. We, If we can draw their general over the Chevaux de Frise. Uh, that's kind of been <laughs> the central tactic that I have going on here, is just make their cavalry be incredibly stupid. Um, because that's kind of all that I have up my sleeve. Okay. Cool. Uh, so now... Excellent. <laughs> uh, it's so good. Okay. Do they even have any cavalry left? They do have a couple of... Uh, I guess those are Lancers? They do, yes. Okay. Well, we've taken some heavy casualties, but they have also taken some heavy casualties, and a lot of it is in the form of um, cavalry, which is something that they... Like, that's basically what their advantage over us was. Uh, so, that's good. If we can just hold out a little longer against their artillery barrage, then that is good. I don't know if we have enough troops. Because they have a couple of units left that they left behind. Um, but, I don't know. Let's see if we can get around on the flanks. Okay. We are slowly creeping up on them. Uh-oh. Our men are running, sir. Dang it. No, that's not good. I'd hope to be able to do more damage to them, but no. That was a bad idea on my part. I'm sorry, man. Just kill as many as you can. Our men are running, sir. Ugh. Oh, man. Just, you can see the huge casualties on my line. Like, this is where my line was set up. But, on the other hand, there are a lot of Prussians dead here too 
And as long as our army survives, that's all we need. Cool. Okay. And yeah, I mean that was that was enough to just destroy that army basically. Okay. And then we are on the defensive here. Um, let's fight this one more battle and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, no, I was wrong because I wasn't paying attention again. We are ambushing them, which is even better as far as I'm concerned. All right. And now everybody move up. Prepare to kill a bunch of people. Eh. Alright, they did manage to counterattack us, but we've held the line. And the Russians have decided to start being annoying. No. No infantry charges for you. They're trying to attack the uh, the weak part of my line here, I think. Just keep pushing. Okay, good. Uh, now we'll take these guys and go up there. And then these guys go over here. Ugh. Okay. Uh, they are fighting quite hard, but I still think we have an advantage over them. Our men are running, sir. Ugh. No! Where? Oh man, come on. All right. Yep, yeah, we've uh, we've taken some losses, but they're collapsing now. I was kind of hoping to hold the defensive position here anyway, so it's not like this is slowing me down very much. But, yeah, this is still a bit of a pain. I will admit they've done a number on us. But, uh, I still think they're in far more trouble than we are. Alright. Great. Less great, less great. Uh... Okay, cool. All right. Well, we definitely uh, we definitely killed that army good. Uh, no more. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna call that an episode. So. We'll fight this battle on the next one, and then, um, I guess we'll have to see what we're going to do from there. I want to see if we can maybe uh, attack Saxony. They might be vulnerable there, uh, and that might be enough to force a peace on them, on uh, Prussia, that is. But, yeah, like I say, we'll have to see. So, until then, I'll see you later.